Hello all. In this tutorial, we are going to learn that Launch Studio REST API testing for put, delete, and patch request types. Let's learn about the put request type first. So go to object repository, right click, new, web service request. I will give the name to the request. Request type will remain the same restful. URL, we will take it from request.in website where we find the different types of REST request and their examples. So I will take the example for the put request type. I will select the put request type. Here is the request URL. Here is the body text for the put request type. The response that we will receive after execution will be this and the response code will be 200. So I will go to the request URL and I will take the URL, copy the URL. This URL contains the user2 details. So these are the user2 details that is ID, email, first name, last name, etc. So I will go to Catalon Studio and paste the URL and click OK. Whenever we generate the request, the request gets generated with the get request type. For now, I will keep it as it is and we have selected the user as two. I will check what is the details that are getting displayed for the user two. So I will click on test request and I will execute this request. The request details are fetched and showing ID2 and the details that we have seen in request.in website. So now I will change the get request type to put request type. Now since we have changed it to put request type, we have to provide the body, HTTP body, because we are going to change the details of this user too. Now, in real time scenario, when we use the put request type and we change some details from the actual data, then it gets changed in the data. But in this case, while we are using the dummy put request details, it will not change actually as these are dummy URLs or dummy APIs which are provided for learning purpose. So in the HTTP body, I will select the text option and the JSON format as the format given in the request.in is the JSON format. In request.in, I will go to put request again and I will select this body text and go to Catalon Studio and paste this text over here. Now we will execute this put request And the response is received and response is showing that the name is what we have given Morphus and the job is Zion resident. The status is 200 OK means the execution is successful. I will save this request and we will go to our next request type that is delete request type. I will take a new request and I will give the name to the request. I will keep the request type as it is restful and for URL we will go to request website again request.in and here we will select the delete request type. For this delete request type there is no body text as we have already given that user2 needs to be deleted and the response will not have any text and the response code will be 204. I will click on the request URL. I will copy this URL and go to Catalon Studio, paste this URL and click OK. This request also got generated with the get request type. We will check what is there in user 2. So I will execute this with the get request type. 
and we got the same information that request response contains the ID 2 and the first name is Yanet and the last name is Weber. So I will change the request type from get to delete to delete the user ID. As I already said that this is the dummy API testing data and URLs. So that's why the actual deletion or actual modifications will not be done in the data. But when you work on the real projects, if you select the delete request type and give any parameters to delete, it will actually delete the data. So I will execute this request. And now there is no content in the response as expected as it is deleted and the status is 204 no content. I will save this request. Now let's create the patch request. Click object repository, new web service request, give, give the name to the request. Request type will be restful. For URL, we will again go to Recress website and here we will click on the patch. Patch is also update and put is also update, but there is a difference between put and patch. I will tell you this difference after the completion of our request. I will click on the patch request. This is the body text that we have to provide. This is the response that we will receive, and this is the response code 200 will be shown after the execution of the request. I will click on the request URL and copy the URL. This is again with the ID 2. I will paste the URL in Catalan Studio and click OK. This request will again generate in a get request type. Since we have already executed and checked what is there in user 2 details, I will not execute this get request. I will change this get request type to patch request type. And now we have to provide the HTTP body. I will click on HTTP body text type and JSON format. And we'll go to recress.in, click on patch request and copy the body text from the patch request. Go to Catalan Studio paste this body text and I will execute this request. And this request has been executed and it is shown the details that we have given for the user having ID 2. This status is shown 200 OK. You must have been observed that for post, put and patch, we have to provide the HTTP body details. And these request updates the details or the data after execution. You know that the post request is to post the new details, new amendments or to add the data in the application or server. In put request, whatever changes we send to the server are considered as modification in original version and then will be replaced in the same version. And on the other hand, in patch request, whatever changes we send to the server are considered modifications in the original version, but creates a new version out of it. Whenever we want to use put request, we have to send the complete details with changes. And whenever we provide the patch request, we can send only the change parameters. For example, to change first name, we have to provide the ID, last name, etc. in case of the put request. But for the patch request, we just need to provide the first name. That is whatever we need to change, that thing only we have to provide. But in case of put, we have to provide everything for that request. In our example, there will be no difference in passing the parameters of put and patch request as these are dummy requests. But in real time scenarios or projects, we have to send complete details 
in case of put request and we have to send the particular details in case of patch request type if you have observed over here all these request has different colors get has blue put has purple post has green patch has orange and delete has red color so you can identify your request and the request types by these colors also this was about put delete and patch request types how to create these request with http body details and how to check the response to it you can also use one more website that is http bin.org for different examples of apis to test so you can use those examples to test your get put delete post and patch requests if you are new to this channel and would like to learn catalon studio from beginning to advanced please click subscribe and bell icon below this video please do not forget to like and share till now i have shared the web application testing tutorials for beginners and advanced level and the web api testing tutorials so you can learn about these by clicking the tutorial urls given below in the description